After more than 15 years of negotiations on Capitol Hill, mandatory country of origin labeling, or COOL, has been repealed. Congress passed the Omnibus Appropriations Bill, which included a provision to drop mandatory origin labeling. You know, COOL, of course, is country of origin labeling, and it's been an issue within our industry for many years now. It's also been a very divisive issue. It had very noble beginnings. We thought that by labeling product as part of the United States, that the consumer would pay more money for it, and we would see increases as producers in our bottom line. Unfortunately, that has not been the case. And so it's been a plague on our industry that has cost us a lot of money, it has caused a lot of problems up on Capitol Hill, and it's caused a lot of problems with our trading partners. So we're very pleased that finally, after all of these years, we can put this behind us. We can focus on voluntary solutions that actually work for the consumer and the producer. A full repeal of COOL was critical to avoid retaliation from two of our country's most important export markets. On December 7th, the World Trade Organization, the WTO, came out with their decision that Canada and Mexico will be able to retaliate against the United States to the tune of over $1 billion. That would have a huge impact on the overall United States economy. It also would have had a big impact on the U.S. cattle business because Canada and Mexico have traditionally been two of the top five export markets for U.S. beef. And had they put a 100% tariff on our product, it would have destroyed our trading relationship and we would have been trying to figure out what to do with all that extra beef, would have put, which would have put additional downward pressure on the marketplace. Woodall says voluntary programs already in place provide a better solution to answer consumer questions about where their food comes from. We've always felt that voluntary industry-led programs have been the way to go and we have programs in place right now that have been very successful and that's where we want to spend our time is focusing on programs that actually do give good information to the consumer that help them make a wise choice and helps us as producers be successful. That can be done voluntarily and it's definitely better when it's done by the industry. I'm Brad Buller reporting.